doing? Welcome to this Pixel Matter tutorial. In this Pixel Matter tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a an excellent text effect. And um, there's a few techniques that we use along the way. So hopefully you'll learn quite a few, few things, not just one. But the text effect that I'm going to um, show to you today is um, two tone glow outline of text. Um, you could even split the text, and I'll show you how to do that later. But there's, like I said, there's a few things that we do along the way, and um, yeah, hopefully you learn a few things. So I'm going to go to my tools palette right here, just as a coincidence, um, just as a, 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 a point of interest. My project properties are 1920 by 1080, so it's just sort of um, desktop background size. So then I'm going to go to my tools. If your tools palette is not showing, just press Command One on your keyboard and it will show you a tools palette, palette. And I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool right here. Then I'm gonna to go to my colors. If your colors are not showing, shift command and C will hide and show your colors. And I'm gonna choose this midnight color right here and fill my background layer with this midnight color. Now I'm just gonna double click my layer here and just rename it background layer. Um, and it's just good practice. It's a good habit to get into renaming layers. It saves you, it could, can often save you a lot of time later and a lot of messing around later in, in bigger projects that you may, may, might create. So then we're going to get the, the text tool and again that's in my tools. I'm just going to drag an, an area out for my text. I'm going to type in 13th design. Now the first two colours that we use um, in this text and in something we'll fill shortly are the, the base colours of your outline that will be showing. So you don't have to choose these colors that I choose. You can obviously opt for your, your own colors, and um, but just the first two colors that you use will be the base colors that are visible on the final sort of um, final effect. So I've got this, this text here, and I'm gonna leave it as this strawberry color. Yeah, I'll leave it as a strawberry color. And um, I'm gonna go to my um, text layer up here right click and convert it into pixels so no it's no longer editable as text you have to edit it as an image and then going to go to my elliptical tool here and cover this 13th design or half cover this 13th design drag it an area which half covers the 13th design or your text that you've got on your screen and then going to click this little plus button right here in the layers and it's going to add a new layer for me I'm then going to go to my paint bucket tool again and select the second color that I want to choose or that I want visible on my final um, final project. And all I'm going to do in my new with my new layer selected, paint bucket tool and my lemon color right here selected, I'm going to left click an area into that um, elliptical shape that we've got and it will just fill it in the color that you've selected. Okay, I'm going to go back just select my move tool and then on this 13th design right here, this layer right here, my original text layer, on the placeholder, so on this part here, I'm going to left click, command and left click on that placeholder. I'm gonna select my layer, the top layer again. So now what you see on the screen, we've got the original text outlined with the new layer selected. I'm going to go to edit in my tool menu at the top and invert select. I'm then going to click backspace on my keyboard and then this will get rid of the outer part of the elliptical tool. I'm then going to press command D to deselect everything on my screen. Now, basically, what we've got, we've got this top layer and if I moved it, it's just the fill of part of the elliptical shape that we just made and we've also got our original text right here just can press command z or z on my keyboard to undo my last action and put that um, top layer back where it should be now this top layer or this layer i'm going to call it top base one and i'll show you or you'll see why later this bottom i'm going to call it bottom base one. That's my bottom base layer, my bottom first base layer. Now, we're going to select this bottom base layer one. And then we're going to get this elliptical tool again, and I'm going to try and match the outline or the shape 
of this original elliptical um, shape that I created. So you can see it's roughly right, it's roughly correct. There might be a little bit of an error here, but I'm not too fussed. Um, but that's how I want it. And then all I'm going to do with my bottom base layer selected, I'm gonna press backspace on my keyboard. Now what this does, I can press Command D to deselect that. Now what this does is deletes the layer or the part of the layer that we just had. So now you'd see that we've no longer got this layer and we can make this really cool effect with this gap with our text in the middle. So we've got two-tone text with this nice cool gap in the middle and that looks quite cool in itself. Now you might just have to use the arrow keys on your keyboard just to line things up a little bit and neaten things up a little bit um, but that's, um, that's easy. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get this top base layer, left click, command left click on the actual placeholder of the top base layer click plus to add new layer go to our original background color which was midnight paint bucket tool original um, background layer we've got a new layer selected left click and it will fill this layer or the top layer with the original color press command d to deselect so you can just see the top base layer one visible below the layer at the top so we're just going to double click this and call it top layer now you can see why that we um, we why we rename things the way we do actually rename things it just avoids confusion i'm going to go to our bottom base layer on the placeholder again command left click add a new layer our midnight paint bucket tool midnight left click and this will add a new layer above our bottom base layer so now i'm going to call this bottom layer now with my top base one selected i'm going to go to my effects browser if your effects browser is not on your on your screen press command three i'm going to go to this gaussian blur right here top base layer one selected Double click Gaussian, put it on around 5.8 pixels and click OK. Go to my bottom base layer, double click Gaussian Blur, again 5.8 pixels and click OK. Now again this looks very nice, but all I'm going to do with my bottom base layer selected, right click and duplicate. And I'm going to do with the top base one exactly the same, select it, right click and duplicate. So now we've got three top layers. I'm going to highlight the top one, press shift on my keyboard, highlight the top base layer one. So I've got three of them selected. Right click and group those layers. Double click that group, rename it top. I'm going to go to my bottom layers, select the top bottom layer, shift on my keyboard, select the bottom bottom layer, right click, group. Now you can merge them, but if you merge them and you make a mistake, you can't go back and edit things separately. I'm going to call this bottom, and as it stands at the moment, I can go back and edit things separately. So now I can get this top group and I can move it away a little bit if I want. Likewise with the bottom group, I can move it away a little bit if I want. Um, but yeah, you see it's, it's a fantastic effect and it's really effective, really simple to do and it looks really cool as well. So that's sort of glowing outlines and you can even put them together if you want to. This is sort of glowing outlines um, and like I said, you can use any colors, but just use the, um, use the initial colors that you want as your base layers. So I hope this, um, you've, you've learned something in this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all again.